CRE is one exam that you write. The graduate record examinations that you write uh, as a prerequisite for higher education abroad. If you're looking for MS and PhD, it becomes a must that you go for a GRE examination. It is not only applicable for MS and PhD, it is also applicable for MBA. For the, especially with the students who are interested in uh, we are still confused between MBA and MS. Uh, GRE can be a beautiful option because it gives keeps your option open. Uh, even in the second day, if you give your GRE uh, after uh, two three years, you complete your engineering or any course, you will be able to apply uh, according to what you need. All right. So that is what GRE is about. Uh, the next thing is what does GRE exactly look for? If you think about what exactly GRE looks for, GRE analyzes and draws conclusion. The main framework behind GRE is to analyze these skills of your particular uh, ambiance, right? Uh, so it's going to check what you mean, uh, analyze and draw conclusions, interpret and analyze information, how well you're able to interpret and analyze information, uh, apply basic mathematical skills and support ideas with reasons and control the elements of written English. It is very, very, very important that you have a sound English knowledge because see GRE exam not only measures your scholastic potential, but also the most important fact, the graduate studies is something about how well you're able to explain a particular concept. So if your English language is not sound enough, that becomes a huge constraint when it comes to uh, going to pursue an MS. That is why the English knowledge is being checked. So uh, most of you guys should have a very, very sound vocabulary. It becomes a prerequisite for the GRE uh, verbal section. All right. So the next part is exam structure of GRE. I'm pretty sure a lot of people are aware, uh, know, aware of the exam structure of GRE. The exam structure of GRE is very simple. There will be two sections of verbal reasoning, two sections of quant reasoning and the one analytical section, writing section is very, very, very important. Uh, Giri Babu just said, yes, the essay writing section, guys, because this AWA decides uh, what kind of uh, universities you're going to get. It might not seem as important as it is, uh, but uh, Frankly speaking, it decides a lot of factors, especially if you're looking for courses that are very competitive, like computer engineering, computer science, and uh, um, MIS, data sciences. These fields are quite competitive when it comes to these uh, MS in US opportunities. So any factor that might put you behind is a huge uh, loss for you. So do not try to put equal concentration for your AWA as, 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 much, as much as you put for your quant and verbal. All right. So this is one piece of advice I will give for most of my GRE aspirants and my own students. So I can take that away from me today. The next part is the revised pattern and the score, scoring scale. Uh, all that you need to know about the portions of GRE is on your screen right now. The quantitative has a data sufficiency, the data interpretation and statistics, the problem solving. There will be two sections with 20 questions and 35 minutes per section. All right. Uh, the verbal section is also very simple. It has reading comprehension, sentence equivalence, and text completion. Uh, there will be two sections, 20 questions for 30 minutes. And the AWA essay, which is the issue essay for 30 minutes and argument essay for 30 minutes, you will have be, be given breaks of two minutes and five minutes between each sections, depending on the difficulty of the particular section. And uh, skipping questions is permitted. You can come back to a particular question and answer them. Then there will be uh, the score line starts from 130 to 170 and with a one point increment. Score reporting uh, as in you can use this score for five years. So the valid, the score is valid for five years. As per your second year students can give their GRE in a second year summer break and use it till they uh, actually have three years of work experience. Because only when you're in a university, only when you're in a college, after becoming a working professional, you don't get much time to give your GRE examination to prepare for GRE. But as a student, you're given a lot of time and also you're in touch with your academics in a huge way. So that will definitely help. All right. The GRE verbal section ideally consists of the sentence equivalence, the text completion, the reading comprehension questions. These are the three types of questions that happens when it comes to the uh, Quant part. So today we're going to just uh, see how uh, GRH can help you get that score because the moment you pick up, see you guys are practically engineers and you know most of the concepts. So the moment you understand the concept and practice, you guys are very good at dealing with it. So we're just going to help you in a very basic con concept to help you ma remember them. All right. So first let us just look at how you can finish your uh, GRE verbal uh, in 20. You cannot finish your GRE verbal in 20 days. I'll be very honest. I'll be lying if I said you can finish your verbal in 20 days, but you can Prepare in a way that could help you optimize your score. All right, that is something you can definitely, definitely do. So how to crack that 160 plus in GRE verbal is the next score. Uh, so guys, if you're looking for 320, what should be your quant and verbal breakdown? So 
uh, that's my tip point for the day as well vocab learning is very 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 important because if you are not very if you not if you don't have a profound vocabulary it automatically affects your chances in gre which in turn affects your chances of ms in us admit it's kind of a chain reaction uh, so vocabulary is the first step for you guys so how many of you guys have you guys started um, reading the reading the gre word uh just joining us is aditya satina thank you so much aditya for joining us so not yet says anil kumar yes says shilpa for the people who have started learn learning words how are you learning so far so all right flash cards coaching in word board says manjunath by considering root word says sujit word board from grh says chirag pictures says nikita flash card says rocky through pictures so guys it's a very good sign a lot of people are already using pictures because see one of the very proven techniques that has happened that has helped almost 1000 plus gre students to score the 320 plus marks in a very very quick time is the fact that they were able to use the tool called the word bot like savik mitra just said yes the word bot tool is very very efficient when it comes to word learning because uh, i can see a lot of people in the audience who use word bot can you guys please tell me how is word bot most uh, how is the word bot being the most effective helpful to you Savik or uh, Chirak, do you, do you guys you you been using word bot so far, right? So so Shweta says it's nice. Do you think it's effective in helping you remember the words? You can memorize easily memorize the picture for a long time. Yes, exactly, Chirak. That is what the word bot software is about. So Manjunath says awesome. I can remember most of the words. Uh, thank you so much, Manjunath. This is what we do at GRH. We're trying to make it. the experience of gre learning as early as easy as is possible because this vocabulary is not only for your gre guys the moment you finish your gre you are not supposed to forget these words when you go abroad and start talking their colloquial language you will be required uh, to learn to know all these words because their colloquial is quite higher than what we what kind of english we talk in india right apart from that you also have to write your own thesis research papers and all that which will need you guys to be very clear on what words you use all right so that is why i believe this word bot tool will not only help you master word for gre but also for your career to make you the best communication person all right so you can definitely try the word the people who are not try the word bot tool please go ahead and try the word bot tool that will be very helpful for most of you guys all right so the next part is uh, now now does that make the word uh, the word learning part very clear on how grh can help you If you have 45 days, ideally, what I would recommend you guys is to every day try 50 words, at least for the next 35 to 40 days. Go for 50 words. I won't say it is it is easier or it is difficult. It is quite possible because we've seen students at GRH do that. So go for at least 40 to 50 words per day and take the test the very very same day. Uh, morning you can wake up at 7 o'clock and just go two hours running, try to remember the words as much as possible. And the same night you can try to take a test on that. All right. So if you do this cycle for 25 For, for 35 to 40 days you will be able to master at least 1500 words which is a good good enough uh, word not i wouldn't say completely enough but good enough word for a 320 score right so you could definitely try that so guys now this does this solve the problem of words for most of you guys not completely but do you have a solution now silpa says how can we test ourselves silpa the word bot software not only gives you word with pictures but also offers you test based on the words you learn for example if silpa uh, reads about 50 words a day you can get to take a test exactly on those 50 words to see how well you remember that so that is a beauty behind the word bot software so if you want to test yourself you can use the word bot to do that so guys everyone can Can we move to the next part of the online seminar? So Chirag says yes. Manjunath says yes. Harita Vijay says yes. Next part is a text completion. The text completion is one of the most. Uh, I'll be honest. Text completion is kind of easy compared to any part of the GRE, the reading comprehension or the sentence equivalence. Because can you guys guess why I feel the sentence equivalence is sorry text completion is quite easier? How many of you guys know about the text completion questions? So Shilpa says yes. So text completion questions is nothing but there'll be uh, a passage. that has uh, composed of one or two five sentences there'll be one blank two blank or three blank and you'll have to answer these blanks using words all right so now automatically the answer choices will be given to you guys and you'll have to pick one of them to be the answer now if there are three blanks and if you answer only one of the blank right that you wouldn't get any points for that particular question you'll lose all the points all right so that is the sentence equivalence so shilpa says three blanks are tough i usually get one wrong that can happen shilpa uh so the for the remaining guys who find text completion uh difficult let me put, let me let me tell you what the basic what are the basic problem that students come across when it comes to text completion questions i have given this example even in my previous webinars now guys if you are 
if you say you want to get a 170 and 170 in quant all right and if you do not know what the basic numbers 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 are would you guys be able to do it no right sujit no says shweta no says shirag it's very very similar to that guys verbal the basics 1 2 3 number are the 2500 gre words if you do not know that you cannot answer the text completion questions that's this analogy i can make you understand that so only after you learn a particular set of words would you guys be able to attempt the text completion questions all right so does that make sense do you guys agree with me with that saujanya says yes deepika says yes harita vijay says yes sujit says can you come again so just i'll just explain one more time see in quant if you want to solve any sums you need the basic number system in your mind the numbers 1 2 3 4 5 6 right similarly if you're looking for the text completion questions you need the basic gre words which is the gre vocabulary that the word bot tool offers if you cannot remember those words you will not be able to solve text completion questions to so basically to start your verbal preparation you have to start with your word bot now anil kumar says i am unable to download the word bot uh, anil kumar the word bot is not a downloadable tool it's a desktop application that you get to use in your google chrome or your mozilla firefox just go type grh.com/wordbot that will help you get access to this application all right so guys uh, that is all about the text completion question now uh, cs saujanya says how can i get the exact 2500 gre words So, Junior, you know, the GRE vocabulary is actually 3,215 words. All these 3,000 words are available in the WordBot software. Right now, you can access a trial version if you're interested. Simply by googling WordBot or typing grh.com/theWordBot. All right. So, guys, can we go to the next part of the online seminar? This is all about the text completion question. Uh, very basic tricks to solve the text completion question is break the text into parts. Come up with your own words as solutions. Any GRE question, any GRE question, please do not look at the choices available because it will completely disrupt your flow. Uh, because there will be a lot of uh, answers like the trap answers. This concept of GRE is uh, the moment you see, look at the option, you know it's right, but it is not ideally. So my sincere recommendation is never, ever, ever look at the option first. Try to come up with your own words and look for its synonym, and then try to match that word with the particular solutions given. All right, so that is one way to avoid any error that happens in text completion questions. So can we solve an example right now? Shweta says X S. She's excited. Uh, yes says Giri Babu. All right, fantastic. So I'll just put a question on your screen. I want you guys to come up with the answer. Maybe not the exact answer because I won't show you the solution right now. Just try to have a take a guess at it and then tell me what could be the answers. The first thing I want to you I want to ask you guys to do is read through the. Uh, question and tell me what could be the answer for the first question. So Shilpa Sivan says something to do with desire. All right, uh, Shilpa. Interest says Sujit. Shweta also says desire. Urge says Manjnath. All right, all right. Passion says Shubham. All right. Let us go to the next blank. What do you guys think should be the next blank, guys? So related to says Shweta, that's kind of a good guess, sir Shweta. Choices might happen. Yes, yes. I'll show the choices, Nara Simon. But first, you have to guess what could be the uh, blank type of animal. Says Chirag. All right. Something to do with off uh, is something we can take away. Last blank, guys. Can you all guess it? What are the last blank is? So affable. Guesses uh, Lakshmi Nara Simon. Unique says Harita. Pleasing says Shilpa. Some positive character says Lakshmi Nara Simon. Fantastic. Likable. And so clearly, we can take away is the first blank. You guys feel it's something to do with desire. The second blank, something to do with off, some kind of activity. And the third, third is something to do with uh, likable, any positive character. That is what you guys mean, right? So let, now let us look at the option. And now can you guys take a guess on what could be the option? Just give me the number. So let us look at the solution right now. The solution is very, very, very simple. Uh, the answers are predilection, capable of pursuing, and amiable. Now, guys. This is the idea behind text completion question. The moment you guess what it could mean, then you will be get a good answer. But if you look at the first option itself, it will be completely misleading. For example, if you use the other options in this temperance uh, or the mischievous, it will actually still make sense. This sentence will make sense if you look at the options. So, in to avoid confusion, first go through the question and try to understand what it could be the answer, and then take a guess at it. So, are we clear of the text completion questions?
Yap says Shweta, Chirak says yes, Ya says Shivam. Alright, the next part becomes the sentence equivalence question, which is almost the same as the text completion question, except for the fa except for the fact that uh, in sentence equivalence, you will be given the same one question with a single blank, and you would have to pick two right answers in the given options. Right, that will be the difference between sentence sequence and text completion. So that is kind of the same play. Again, if you do not know the words, you will not be able to master the uh, sentence sequence and text completion. If you're interested, we do have a seminar that is happening this Monday uh, on text completion sentence equivalence. If you guys are interested, you can attend that seminar to get more clarity on how to go with the text completion and sentence equivalence. All right. So Sujit says, okay, so how many guys will be interested in attending that seminar? How to crack text completion sentence equivalence? All right, fantastic. Now, uh, let us just look at a sentence equivalence example. Let's not get into the details of it. Let us just try to understand how many guys are prepared uh, to take a sentence equivalence question, shall we? Because I think Shweta will be giving a GRE very soon. A lot of people will be giving a GRE very soon. Let's see how well you've prepared so far. All right, so can we take a look at an example, guys? Sujit says yes. Sure, says Shweta. Are you guys excited? You're on, says Shinak. Fantastic. So, the example question is on your screen right now. It was her view that the country's problem had been dashed by foreign technocrats so that to ask for such assistance again would be counterproductive. What do you think could be the two solutions for this particular question? Lakshmi Narasimhan, fantastic. You got it right. It's a negative word, says Sujit. All right. So Chirag, you've got one answer right. Lakshman Singh got both. Sumit Singh has got one right. Shweta, you might. Uh, one of your solution is right. Shilpa, I don't think that's the right answer. Anil, again, that's not the right answer. Just think twice. It's a negative emotion. Fantastic, Harita Vijay. She's got both right. So I have two people who have answered both the answer right. So Shubham have got it right, Shivani has got it right. Fantastic Shweta, now you are bang on. So that's the right answers you guys have guessed. So exacerbated and the percent. These two are the solutions for this particular sum. Uh, I'm pretty sure it is understandable. The solution is quite given if you're interested because, see, uh, the technocrats must have some bad effects and the only word in this particular sent, uh, options given that explains the bad effect is exacerbated and worsened. These two uh, words are actually available in the uh, word board as well. Yes, Sujit, this has been got from the ATS guide actually. So, that concludes sentence requirements and text completion but effectively. The next part is a reading comprehension which is kind of the nightmare for most of the GRE students. Isn't that right? Yes, says Chirag, Yap says Shweta, Sujit says yes. Uh, I have not stressed this enough guys, ideally speaking, see reading comprehension is not that uh, difficult a task as people think it to be. The very first thing you guys need to do for a reading comprehension is to understand the word learning. The moment you start word learning and then there's a very small technique that you can use to understand the uh, sentence equivalent part. All right. The first thing you will do is uh, break it into small sentence units not more than five minutes on each passage. Every sentence would have some idea. See, just quickly read through for 25 seconds and then a detailed read. This technique will help you uh, help your short term memory to catch on the ideas and then do it better. Uh, any RC passage is very, very simple. This is what uh, any any RC passage is. It is a combination of different, different ideas. Right? It is nothing different. It's very simple. So what I would uh, tell my students is, uh, the moment you go for a GRE, the moment you take up an RC exam, RC test, uh, you should have your rough paper right next to you and you should be able to jot down these ideas in one word. Every complex sentence can be come, uh, dropped down to one particular sentence or one particular word. That will be more than sufficient if you want to if you want to master your RC. Right? So that is one thing you guys can definitely, definitely do. And uh, next part is the RC, set, RC is... The moment you extract the ideas, it is very, 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 very simple. Let me just give you the three stages of any RC learning. So, these are the three stages of RC learning, guys. The extract the independent ideas from the statements, relate the ideas, and draw conclusions. 
these are the key stages of any RC. Again, we also have a seminar on how to crack tough RCs coming up next week. We'll be talking detailed about this. So you can attend that seminar to understand better. We also saw the examples in that particular seminar. Anil Kumar, you can attend that seminar because we're losing time uh, in today's seminar. So if you're interested, again, go to that link, bit.ly slash GRE webinars. We have a seminar on how to crack tough RCs coming up very, very soon. Right. So the next part is that effectively concludes your verbal section. Now the first 20 days, you guys have to, uh, sorry, the entire 40 days, you guys have to sub do word learning. That takes about one and a half hours, two hours of your time. All right. Apart from that, you'll have to practice as many RC comprehensions as possible. Every day, at least two to three reading comprehensions. Only that will help you master the RC art. All right. After that, after that reading completion is mastered, then go to text completion sentence equivalence. Because any text completion sentence equivalence question requires a vocabulary of at least 800 to 1000 words. Only then will you be able to do that uh, text completion sentence equivalence. So after your first 10 days, then take up text completion sentence equivalence and try to solve them. All right. So till the 20th day, keep practicing and then jump to the quant section. This is just one approach that we provide you. You can have your own approach. Next, the next 20 days, try to stress on quant as much as possible. And when you go for quant, one most important criteria I'll tell you guys is, uh, you guys don't have to go through the entire quant chapter all over again because let's face it, it is not that difficult to task. It's a 10th, 11th, 12th mathematics. It takes a while to understand. Practice is needed, yes. But practice in your weaker areas are needed. Can you guys tell me, what are your weaker areas in quant? When it comes to the quant section, what are your weaker areas? Probability says Sujit. Allegations and mixture, yes, very good Chirag. Age problem says Deepak. Word problem says uh, Shweta. Inequality says Saujanya. Uh, geometry maybe says Lakshmana Simon. So this, this weak area is where you first have to work on. Because ideally if you're going to work on your stronger areas, a lot of people love geometry. So they start with a chapter that they love, which is of no point because you know you'll solve the geometry parts in your actual exam. So don't start with that. Start with your weaker areas and get materials only on that. Right? Try to spend more areas and take up GRE style tests only on that particular topic. For example, you can take GRE style tests on probability, GRE style tests on ratios, just to see where you stand in that particular presentation. All right? So the moment you focus on your weaker areas uh, and for the people who don't know what your weaker areas are, you can take a diagnostic test to see where, how, uh, which is your weaker areas and then give at least 10 days to master weaker areas. Do problems that are long and difficult, never take up easy sums and the next 10 days, after the 30th to 40th day, that time you can look for your stronger areas because it will automatically build your confidence when you approach the exam. So you have it here in the next 15 days. The next 10 days, you're going to solve concepts that you love. Like, what are the max concepts you love, guys? What are the con concepts that you love the most? Geometry says uh, Akriti. Raki says Geometry. Shweta says Geometry. Geometry says Giribabu. So yes, Geometry is something that a lot of people love. Algebra says Aditya. Wow, Sumit Singh says he loves permutation combinations. Trust me, Sumit, permutations always gave a nightmare for a lot of my students. But uh, that's good to see. Algebra says Chirag, Arithmetic says Lokesh. So the last 10 days, then that, that 30th to 40th days, try to focus on these weaker, uh, stronger areas because it will boost your confidence when you go approach your exam and you know that, okay, I can solve these sums. I know GRE. So that kind of confidence building activity will happen. And then you have to be very, very careful. What do you do in the last five days is very, very, very important. Uh, this is the overall quant chart that I can provide you. Uh, the last five days is very crucial, guys. Very one thing I'll tell you is in no way, no way you guys can sit and think if should I learn new concepts that will completely ruin your schedule. You cannot learn new concepts. You'll always have to understand that. But one thing you can do is, now say uh, a lot of people told me June 9th is your GRE. Can you give me when are you approximately planning to take your GRE? June 9th, uh, Sujit says, alright. June 2nd week, August, May 25th says uh, Shweta, June 16th. So just the five days before your GRE preparations, you have to do one thing very, very clear. The moment you fix a slot in GRE, for example, if you get a 9 o'clock slot, 10 o'clock slot, 12 o'clock slot, the previous five days, five days before that, you have to ensure that you wake up on time. Being students, I know you guys wake up only at 1 o'clock or 2 o'clock, that is understandable. But if you want to give your GRE in the next five days, you have to wake up on time before that and take full length adaptive tests just, just like you take your GRE. For example, say this Saturday is your GRE 9 to, 9 to 1. That means since Monday, you start taking full end test every day at 9 to 1 so that your mind will be adjusted to that particular routine. Alright, if you don't do that and simply go and find sit in your particular exam, 
it will completely break your confidence. So Sudhir Al Alapati says, where can we find the full end test? There are a lot of people that offer the full end test. Sujit. The GRH offers the fast track test series. It's supposed to be the most accurate full end test. Uh, whatever score you get in the particular test will be the same score that you get in your actual GRE with a fluctuation of plus 3 to minus 3. That's a statistic that has been proved. So you could try that uh, as a, one of the choices that you have. Anyway, coming back to the seminar, just stay, try to taking these tests because it will automatically sync your mind in that time frame. All right. So that will automatically, in the sixth day, you will automatically do well in your GRE because you've been taking tougher tests before that. Now, do you guys agree with that? Yes, says Sujit. Yes, says Shweta. Chirag says agree. So that is what ideally your 45 day plan would be, guys. You have to ensure that you get as much attention as possible and you have to give at least three and a half hours of every day because I'm sorry, I know it's harder for three and a half hours, but the, each day, the three and a half hours you give from today is going to decide what kind of university you go to, what kind of career you build. All right. So don't you think that three and a half hours is something you can definitely give for the next 45 days? Sure. Why not, says Akriti. For sure, says Shweta. Yeah, for sure, says Sujit. Fantastic, guys. That should be the spirit. You should be able to get that time because it's going to completely decide what you're going to do in the next two, next three to four years. So try to get that time of three and a half, three and a half hours to be able to get more GRE score as possible. You can mail us, WhatsApp us or call us at 988-445-3276 or mail us at info at grh.com. Right? So I, I hope I'll see you in the upcoming seminars. Until then, this is Vishnu signing off. A very good evening and take care, guys.